Hello and welcome to Sumo UK. Here you're going to find nothing less than genuine, unedited gameplay and fact-based, honest reviews. All that I ask from you in return is that you comment below what your thoughts are on the game and what you liked or what you think is missing from it. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, we've got three players at the club who are currently unhappy. And many of the players have not formed meaningful relationships with the others at the club. Which is a bit annoying. Um, so we've got a bit of a problem, I guess. Overall, hierarchy-wise, we've got Goodwin, we've got Reese Evans, who doesn't really play. Um, even though I think he's pretty bloody good. Crossing and dribbling is decent. He, that makes him a good attacking winger. Or maybe not. Well, his anticipation's rubbish, but his flair is good. Maybe if we just get him to work on his anticipation. Training. He's got simple passes. So we're trying to work him on his passing. Yeah, which isn't exactly brilliant. He's a decent player. He really is a decent player. Hmm. And he's important to the club. This is the, the sort of flip side of the coin, is when you've got a team with so many players, there's no way on earth you can fit them all in. So a lot of them get annoyed. He's going to be back in one to three days. Well, that's a quick turnaround because he was out for five weeks. Young, you see, they bounce back. You drop them on their heads, and they don't remember it. But a bunch. Uh huh. Okay. So you've turned up with your smiley face on. That's good. Mold Alex report general performance. Mold Alex are performing well above average statistically. Right, this is going to be such a big game for us. So we're unbeaten, one, two, three, four, in four. Unbeaten in four, one defeat in five, two defeats in six. Um, we're averaging about two goals a game, conceding one or less per game, which is pretty damn good um, for a squad that's, you know, fighting to avoid relegation. Clarky boy really loves being in that role up the top there. On recommendation, James Rutter. Oh, he's the striker dude, isn't he? His pace is good. 13. First touch is decent. What role is that? Pressing forward. What about here as a shadow striker? Does he fit that role? He's actually pretty good at that role too. It would be a great signing for the future. He's only 21. He does look like... An Interesting player. He's on the short list already. Okay. Thing is, we've got Bird right now, and Bird is playing really well. He was unfortunate not to score more goals in the last game. He scored three, technically, but they only allowed one of them. Right, Mills resumes full training. We'll check him and see whether he's match fit. But again, see, now we've got another problem in that but, um, Jensen is playing magnificently well. So the board and the supporters are expecting us to lose this game. Let's disappoint them. Let's do something they're not expecting. So he's short of full fitness and should be monitored. Okay. That's good to know. Right, so Coney, what's wrong with Coney? Oh, he's not allowed to play against his parent club, so we must have got him from there. That's interesting. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll bring the main man that I was just talking about on, Reese.
I didn't want to give William a go. I think William's got some quality that we have yet to see manifest itself. <laughs> Where the hell is he? This is the other problem when you've got so many players, is trying to find one. Harry Clark, Mason Jones, Reese Evans, there he is. Are you absolutely kidding? This is what I hate about this game. He feels unsuited to the role that he's being asked to play. And yet, he has had two of the best games he's had all season in that role. This is going to be a really, really tricky day. We've been on a good run lately, so go out there and impress me. Yep, <laughs> nothing. Nobody even blinked. Nobody took a deep breath. Nothing. So they're unbeaten in... Oh, no, we are unbeaten in the league in five. We must have lost a cup match. And they have actually lost two in the last five. So we, technically, we've got the best form. But I hope we can take these boys down. That would be absolutely brilliant. I'll take a draw quite happily but if we could uh, if we could get a win here oh that would be gorgeous oh well on downs downs is quite an accomplished little player here he is jensen gomez good win oh back to jensen and very nearly opened his uh his uh, account today. He's really fighting for his role. I mean, hard pressed to, to take him off the pitch, really. Probably Jensen rather than Jensen. Oh, penalty! And it was Jensen Jones again. Come on, birdie boy. Is it birdie? No, it's going to be Liam Jones, isn't it? Well done. Um, 1-0 against Mould. That is fantastic. But again, it's Jensen getting into all those little gaps and just causing the defence absolute nightmares. And I am loving that. Well done, Lee. Safe hands, Lee. Oh, Clarky G. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was an absolute cracker from Downs. I tell you what, they were lucky they stopped that before it got through the defence. That could have been another goal. Gomez. Good running down the wing. Good ball in. Jensen Jones again. He is looking really hot, isn't he, in that role? Lucky Clarky G. Not your best corner. We're currently fifth, boys and girls. Currently fifth. Can you believe what you're seeing? Long way to go. Don't start counting chickens. Well on defence. Really good, solid defending there, actually. And on the attack again. No, no. Steady. Let's have a look at the stats here. 65% possession, 92% accuracy in our passing. We are looking absolutely solid. Bird! Go on, Bird! Oh! <laughs> I told you they were lucky they stopped that shot. Downs absolutely pasted that one. You won't find that until you get to next week. Bird with an assist. I love this. Bird, a striker who's scoring and assisting. That is what we want. 2 0 up in 13 minutes. Mould's heads must be spinning.
Oh, great effort. I tell you what, go back a couple of episodes ago when I was th talking about trying out this new formation and I wasn't sure whether to keep Bird on or take him off. They're the decisions that change your season from a success and a failure. Sometimes it's just a, you know, a bit of luck or a, a bit of intuitive something or other that just makes you think, you know, Jensen should should, should be playing. He's playing really well, isn't he? Oh my word, everyone's playing well. Unlucky. I'm enjoying the football, lads. Oh, it's gone a bit quiet. This usually means they've made some tactical changes. And different things are going to happen. Oh, he's had another... He's got the taste for it now. He's having another go. It's really hard to pinpoint what really is different from what we were playing earlier in the season because we were maintaining possession for a lot of that. But we just weren't getting the shots. So I don't know what, what's changed. I guess pushing the two wingers up high and just... What a tackle. Barrett is such a good signing as well. Bennett, sorry. It would help if I got my team players' names correct, wouldn't it? Mould are starting to get control of the game. Look at this. They've made some changes. Let's go positive. It worked last time. Bird is on it. Oh, again! They were lucky that took a deflection out. Oh. Right, that's good. We made a change and it impacted on the game. Yeah, they're a good team. They are a good team. This this game is certainly not over. Oh, if we can go in 2-0 up, or 3-0 up, Bird's on it. Come on, Gomez, whip it across. Oh, nobody was there. defending lads this is going to be a fight to the finish this is going to be a tough old game this one they're putting some effort yeah we're going to start playing for set pieces that's a good shout at the moment we are the team what a 45 minutes that was you've blown them away look at this everyone's chaffed right now tactics I am going to make some changes here because I noticed Gomez was whipping the ball in in a way that I didn't really like. So I'm going to say cross from deep towards the near post and do that more often. Uh, we'll say the same with Bennett, in fact. Cross from deep. More often near post. Okay, other than that, I'm very happy. I don't want to overload the team. I don't want to give them too many instructions. Maybe that's the thing that I've changed is, you know, I've reduced the number of circumstances I want them to be thinking about all the time. You know, these are, these are part-time football players. They're not full-time football players. Oh, what a save from Lee Bulmer. Well done, lad. I feel like bringing this back to balance might be a good idea. Because they are giving us a bit of a thumping in the old possession department again. They've got control of the game. Pulled it up and we've taken back control of the possession. Come on, Jamesy. Great ball. 
Out to Jonesy. Get it across, lad. Bird! Oh, I thought he was on that. I really thought he was on that. This is looking very promising again. Our pass completion is higher than theirs. That's what we want. For the simple reason that if we've got the ball, they cannot score. That's the whole principle behind this tactic. And it seems to be working really well so far. Oh, stop doing that, you stupid pillocks. Oh, referee penalty? No, offside apparently. I'm not convinced. Oh, a mistake from us. Is he offside? He didn't look offside, but okay, I'll take it. Jensen Jones out on that right wing has just been phenomenal. Ah, I was going to say, I hope he's not injured. And there he is, injured. Well, luckily, we've got the perfect replacement today. And he literally is the perfect replacement. He's like for like. I want to see a good performance from you today. Let's see it, Mr. Reese Evans. You're an influential part of the team. Let's see it on the pitch. Bird! Oh, a lucky bird. I really want Bird to score. Because every time he doesn't score, it does feel like I need to be substituting him for a better player. On paper. On paper, that is. Better player on paper. Here he is! Go on, Bird! Oh! Exactly things like that. Exactly moments like that where, like, a slightly quicker player, slightly more technically gifted player might have just turned that into a goal. Here he is, Evans! That was some good football, actually. Evans again. That corner, thank God for that. Who's about to substitute him for being rubbish at crossing? Come on, Clarky G. Who's on it? Goodwin was on it. He got something on it as well. Goodwin again. Clarky G. Back post. Nobody was there. Go on, Bird. Oh, again, a brilliant ball from Bird. But nobody was on it. Tom Goodwin is absolutely done. We need to make some changes here. I am going to go boom, boom, and then bring Barrett on. Let Bird play uh, in the shadow striker role, which he's not suited to. But I think he, he'll be good there. Uh, so you're not suited to that role. So we'll just push you up into a... Uh, Box to box midfielder. We'll see how you get on. Right, 77 minutes in. Subs are on. Team's a little bit disjointed, but uh, not in a bad way. We're getting some Olays. I love that. Here's Barrett. Oh, referee! Yeah, I should bloody think so too. Eight minutes to go, lads. We're a goal up and a player up. And we're sixth in the league right now. Oh, don't you dare. Mould in the 87th minute. Change our, our mentality to positive and try and just get another, like a really quick response goal. Uh oh, they are going to press hard now. Run keeps. Yeah, here they come. Look, they are pumping hard. I think we're going to go defensive. I just want to hold on to this win because this would be mega for us. Go on, Bird. Good ball to Barrett. 
Clarky G. Oh, Clarky G, good movement. What happened there? There's no way he was offside, referee. You're lying. One minute to go. That was a bit of a hit, hit and hope kind of thing. This is it. 30 seconds, boys. Fire them up. Oh! That was a crack and a half. That was not a million miles away. Look at them all pressing up. Get in! What a flipping amazing win that is. That was really special, lads. Oh my goodness me. We are now 6th in the league on 21 points, 10 points clear of relegation. We still have a game in hand over the two teams above us. We can go into 4th. Mold Alex are looking a little shaky up the top there. Three defeats in five. Not what they were after at all. Yes, and Jones is injured. He's broken his lower arm. No. Oh, don't believe it. Don't believe it. I feel so bad for him. He was just playing so well. He's going to be out for two months. Play through injuries. Broken his lower arm. Pretending to a specialist. He's going to be out. It's going to cost us 875. It's going to take the same amount of time, but it's going to cost us money. I think we're going to send him to a specialist, right? Yeah, I want him to get better. The clan make it five unbeaten. I think it's more than five unbeaten, isn't it? In the league? Not sure. The Daffodil fans are pleased to see their side sitting comfortably well away from the division strugglers. The team were tipped to toil at the bottom, but their current form should keep them out of trouble. Wonderful news. Wonderful news. Jake Ear. Isn't he one of the excuse me guys that we were looking at? No, maybe not. Reese Williams. Right, let's have a look at this guy. Compare with Mr. Bulmer. Oh, he is good. He is good. And he's playing backup at the moment. But look how much he's, he's, he's earning. He's earning twice as much as our guy. I don't think we can entice him away. I think we need to keep him in mind for next season, maybe, when we've got a bit of cash, because we've got nothing at the moment. Best pass completion, Callum Bennett. What a signing he has been. He actually plays centre-back as well, but we've been playing him at left-back. He's got good pace, good natural fitness. Tackling is great. Marking is great. He is such a good player. He's on loan at the moment, but I'd really like to sign him. Yeah, brilliant. I think I think he has transformed our defence to some degree. What an amazing game that was. Absolutely top notch. Top notch. Everyone played spectacularly well. Oh, the clan have set a new record. Six games unbeaten. I knew it was more than five. Six games unbeaten from Saturday, 30th of September. A new team record. Check that out. I don't know where it says it. Where the hell does it say that? Most league appearances by a player, Jamie Breescar. I kind of miss him, but not as much as I was missing him at the beginning when he first left. Unbeaten run, biggest defeat, biggest win. 
<laughs> results. I don't know. It says it in there somewhere. Unbeaten run. Six games in a row. What's that done for the dynamics of the squad? Average. Which, uh, that's, I think that's an improvement, isn't it? Managerial support is average. I've made several of the players unhappy. There are three unhappy players. And they're still not forming a good relationship. But the club atmosphere is improving. It's getting better. And Reese Evans played brilliantly in that last game. Maybe I should talk to him and just say, uh, your last game. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay, then. So now he's pessimistic. Okay, so he doesn't like me. That's annoying. As soon as he's a key team member. Let's talk to Tom Goodwin. Let's try and win him over and just say, your recent form has been integral to the way we're playing. Now he's not... He's not sure about my assessment. Okay. I'm wrong, you're right. I hate talking to the players. I hate talking to the players. Gomez, just getting better and better and better with everything. What a player. Now, Dewey Allen. He's never played for us. His pace isn't that good. Surplus to requirements, apparently. Right, what I'm going to do before I wrap up for this episode, guys, is I'm just going to... Uh, oh, I could do it like this. I'm going to go set pieces, because that could do wonders for team cohesion look. Not so much for happiness. get some routines in there uh, and in two weeks time can we go for can I just oh, I see and hover over them they all help with team coherence Yeah, okay, we'll go with what you've recommended there. That actually seems pretty good. All right, Groovy, we set a new record, unbeaten in six. Absolutely phenomenal. We're sixth in the league. It's all about sixes right now. We've got a goal difference of one, which uh, isn't, I mean, spectacular, but I'd much rather be plus one than minus one. And I think we have a game in hand over some of the teams which means that, uh, we, yeah, I mean, theoretically, we can get up into the into the top four or five, maybe. Which is just phenomenal. I mean, what a turnaround. Sometimes the tactics just drop in your head and you're like, well, to be honest with you, we were having high percent uh, possession and high passing. We just weren't getting the the balls in. So by pushing the wingers up, that seems to have fixed whatever blockage there was in the flow. Um, I was a bit worried it might open us up at the back a little bit more, but if anything, it's made us stronger. So, yeah, just absolutely phenomenal right now. Connor Bird, average highest rating, top goal scorer. How can I possibly take him off? He hasn't scored in two games. That might be a reason why. But, um, yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So impressed with the team. So happy with the team. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.